Welcome to the Unarmor Cup Series. We're here today for race six of season two here at Hamlet Raceway. It's a very large road course, very unique too. It's the first road course race since the season one finale. There are all 22 cars lined up today. Very small track. The drivers to watch for today are Trevor Harvey and Brayson Mitchell, both with wins at road courses. Well, it's a very unique track, and it's only two lanes wide the entire way around it. you got to find the right spots to make the passes, and these drivers are going to be pushing for every inch today, trying to get a spot in the championship run. Well, before the race starts, let's get check out the hot spots on the track. Up first is turn one. You can't go too fast in this turn or you will mess up bad. Mess up real bad because there's nowhere to go if you spin out. Then we have the S's. Very loose and slick. Very A lot of spins happen here. Then we have turns 4, 5, and 6. These are more of a smaller S's turns and very hard and very tricky to get down. Then coming out of 6 and 7 is the alleyway, a very fast part of the track. Cars tend to overshoot it and get loose on the, on the spot, though. Well, we're here for the final five races of the Earn Armor Cup Series Season 2. Cars are rolling off, and let's check out the starting lineup. In row 1 is the 11 of NASCAR 56 and the 24 of Speedy Racing. Then the 38 of Nat Wagner and the 2 of Jake Olson. Followed by the 14 of Mr. Risky Whiskey and the 39 of Tyler Jennings. That's still Duck Dynasty in the 14. Then we have Tyler Bowen and, the, and Burning Rubber. Followed by the 16 of Derek the 1 and the 5 of Ian Perez. The 55 of Jake Booker and the 51 of Zach Reeler after them. Then we have the 48 of Alex Starr and the 29 of Buddy Pooley. Followed by the 56 of Brett Yoder and the 22 of Cardinals Fair 99. Then we have the 88 of Dale Olson and the 15 of Jeffrey Buckeye. Then the 17 of Young Duck and the 20 of Trevor Harvey. And rounding out the field is the 33 of Brayson Mitchell and the 18 of Too Low. Here's the race info. It's 22 cars, 10 laps, and be careful because it's a road course. But here we are going green flag. Speedy Racing gets an early jump going into turn one. He's flying around the track now, open up a huge gap. Here he comes through turn three on the S's, now going into turns four, five, six. He's going through the alleyway, now going to take lap two of ten. And now we already have a car around in the S's. It's Trevor Harvey, no caution as he gets it back going. Here's the replay right quick. He just gets loose and goes around. Prime example of what happens in the S's. He, he picks it back up and gets right back on it. Here's the cars behind, uh, behind NASCAR, behind Speedy Racing. Here's Speedy Racing going through four and see oh there's a car loose it's burning rubber here's speedy racing going through turn one on lap three of ten and i hear the cars behind him and then we got a spin on the track it's the 18 of too low going around let's see how that happened he got loose and just went around and here we have speedy racing taking lap four of ten and there's a huge wreck on the track big pile up cars going everywhere and how did trevor harvey make it through that Caution is out. Eleven cars, and it's Derek Thorne, Jack Booker, Zach Real, Jeffrey Buckeye, Cardinals fan 99, Brayson Mitchell, Too Low, and Young Duck, Brett Yoder, Dale Olson, and Alex Starr. What a wreck going through the S's. Nowhere to go with this two-lane track. How did how did Trevor Harvey get through that? Well, those are the cars that remain in the race. It's just eleven of them. Half the field is already wrecked out today in the S's. At Hamlet, Motors, at Hamlet Raceway has been a huge wreck right now. The cars are already in the garage. And here's the replay. Looks like it starts out with Jake Booker going around and everybody else follows with him. And Trevor Harvey just with great driving gets through there. We're going back green flag on lap 7 of 10.
Speedy Racing jumps out early. He's going through turn one, leading him through it. Now he's going to be going through the S's, leading him through there. He's doing good on there. Trevor Harvey's in the grass, and he's going to be back right again. Second time he's messed up in the S's, and now they're going through turns six and seven. And here's Speedy Racing taking lap eight of ten. And then we got a caution on the track. It's debris. That looks to be like the bumper of the 99 as he's going to pull down pit road to get it fixed. Here's the replay. He gets plowed by by Buddy Pooley, and there it is. And now they're going to pick that up and go on. Here's a go. Green flag is back on. Green white checker. Now they're going through the S's. It looks like Matt Wagner is going to take it for Speedy Race, and Speedy Race is going to take it right back, and he's going to take the white flag. He's led every lap today. Uh, we can see if it's a Michigan repeat. Now there's the cars on the back. And Speedy Racing looks to have this one under control. He will. Speedy Racing wins the day, followed by Nat Wagner. And then way behind them is Mr. Risky Whiskey, followed by NASCAR 56 and the rest of the field. There's your winner today, Speedy Racing. Great driving. He has led every lap today and won, burning it down. There he is. Great win from him. Now here are the results of Speedy Racing, Matt Wagner, Mr. Risky Whiskey, NASCAR 56, Jack Olson, Tyler Jennings, Burner Rubber, Ian Perez, Trevor Harvey, Tyler Bone, Buddy Pulley, Carlos Fan 99, Zach Reel, and Brayson Mitchell. And then it's Derek Thorne, Too Low, Young Duck, Dale Olson, Brett Yoder, Alex Starr, and Jeffrey Buckeye. Great driving by Speedy Racing. Now here are the points, and it's really shaking up after the road course. The points win, points has definitely changed. NASCAR 56 is your leader. Speedy Racing is now in the mix, only one point off of first. And dropping, and Matt Wagner's already coming up. He's about to take Young Duck's spot. Matt Wagner, he could use a win. If he gets a win, he'll be great with two back-to-back -to -back top, two back-to-back second-place finishes. Well, congrats to Speedy Racing. And what and what drive what a great driving from him. For race seven it will be from Rockingham. After that race the warning between Mr. Risky Whiskey and Young Duck will be lifted. It should be exciting. Now they have nothing to worry about after that. Still gotta get through Rockingham though. If they mess with each other in Rockingham, there will be a twenty point dock as was said in Texas. Here are the race winners so far. At Daytona is Jake Booker, Bristol Jeffrey Buckeye, Indianapolis Trevor Harvey, Michigan. In Michigan we had Tyler Bond. At Texas we had Buddy Fooley. And today we have Speedy Racing. Speedy Racing has two total wins. He's going on the cup series. We came up Motor Speedway right beside him at Raceway. And Trevor Harvey has three total wins. So Speedy Racing is right there for the most wins in the Onoma Cup Series.